Can sustainability be fun? We're at the perfect place to find that out. Welcome to the Danish capital, Copenhagen. So we're here to explore exactly that, the sustainable side of Copenhagen. Oh, I got it. Yeah. For many years now, Copenhagen has been reinventing itself through its energy supply, transportation, and climate solutions. It's the leading model in the world for urban sustainability, and it has been recognized several times for being the greenest city in the world. The best eco-friendly way to sightsee here is by cycling. Since the 1960s, urban mobility in Copenhagen has centered around biking as a smart, safe, and healthy way of getting from A to B. Today, about one in every two Copenhageners cycles to university, work, school, or the stores. Together with Amsterdam, Copenhagen is ranked as one of the best cities in the world for bikes. The infrastructure here makes it really easy and fun to discover the city, even for a nervous rider like myself. It's very safe. At many intersections, cyclists have their own traffic lights. They are even given a head start before the cars. It's pretty clear that on a typical main street in Copenhagen, everyone knows exactly where they belong. First pedestrians, then bikes, then cars. There are still many cars on the road in the city, but it's expected that there will be fewer over time. The new bridges around the harbor are already car-free. If you want to use public transport, you can do so with a clear conscience. All buses, ferries, metros and commuter trains will run on green energy by the end of 2025. Transportation here is already highly sustainable. So, when visiting Copenhagen, you can choose between several eco-friendly options to move around in the city. A popular tourist activity is to get on a boat here in Copenhagen, but I've got an even more fun and eco-friendly way to explore the harbour. These green kayaks you can rent out for free. In return, you just have to collect some trash. Count me in. All right, so I need to wear a life, life jacket. It's mandatory, you need it. So this is your kayak. And you sit here and then we put the buckets in the kayak mm -hmm. so you can collect trash, okay. all right? All right. And uh, when we finish, we can uh, measure how many kilos mm. you collected. I have this scale to see how many kilos of trash mm -hmm. you succeeded with. And how much trash do people collect on average? It, roughly two to three kilos okay. yeah, per tour. Uh -huh. There's quite a lot of trash out there. All right, let's get started. My goal is to collect as much trash as possible and to not crash into anything. <laughs> Crazy what you'll find floating around here. Oh, I got it. Cleaning up the harbor and experiencing the city from the water in a relaxed way. A pretty good combo, I think. This experience is also available in other European cities, including Hamburg and Berlin in Germany. Okay, this one. Oh, no. <laughs> Two hands on land, yeah, or like that. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, I'm drenched. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Ah, it's quite heavy. 4.1 kilos. Nice. Yes. <laughs> nice catch. Thank you. Now it's time to relax and unwind in the city. What a cool laid back atmosphere here. The former working-class neighborhoods of Vestebro and Norbro are famous for their trendy hangouts. This is all part of Copenhagen's green spirit, improving urban life by creating public spaces, be it streets, backyards or parks. This place is so adorable. Don't you think? Some places are still hidden gems, 
like Bainagarten. Garten. Over the last 50 years, these barns were left to their own devices and began to deteriorate. The Bainagarten Garten project has come to their rescue. It's the old railway district. In these yeah. old sheds you see there behind you, yeah. they used to store the wood for the train tracks. Oh, wow. And they have recently been restored, mm -hmm. gently renovated. And now there is a food market there behind us. Mm -hmm. And then there is this bakery mm -hmm. where we had this pastry. And a flea market every second Sunday. Yeah. And a little urban wood here. Okay. So a brand new hangout in Copenhagen. Can you guess what these huge barns were used for? Old relics can still be found everywhere. I'm in the former meatpacking district. It's called Kölbun, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And it's just really cool to see the contrast here with the old architecture and all the new businesses and startups and entrepreneurs that have been popping up here. And uh, yeah, it's just really cool to see. Bena Garden and Kölbun are some of the top meeting points in Copenhagen. On warm and sunny days, these places can get pretty packed. Just like here, a public harbor in the Norhound district. In Copenhagen, you're never far from the water. People are just hanging out here on the waterfront at the harbor. <laughs> For free, you can go swimming here, go sunbathing. They're constantly checking the water quality and when the water quality is good, why not? Why not go for a swim? It's just so nice. Having a high quality of life is part of Copenhagen's concept for sustainable living. Following the 15-minute city concept, everyone should be able to reach a park or recreation center within a 15-minute walk. Industrial areas that were long inaccessible to the public can now be used by everyone, including this harbor. This is the Danish Architecture Center. Here you get a great overview of the different sustainable ideas and concepts that Copenhagen has to make itself fit for the future. Energy efficient architecture is already a reality today. Green recreational spaces are also part of planning the city's residential areas. This is what urban agriculture could look like. And already under construction, a high-rise made of wood, scheduled to be completed in 2026. Shaping the city and developing its sustainable concepts is the job of city architect Camilla van Durs. She is the chief strategist of Copenhagen's green transformation. So what are some of the main guidelines that you have to follow um, in terms of you know, the new projects, the new sustainable projects that the city um, is planning for the future? Well, the Copenhagen has the ambition of being climate neutral, CO2 neutral, uh, in only two short years. So everything we do has to revolve around lowering the CO2 emissions in our projects. That is building more in wood, uh, building uh, with less concrete, more less parking garages, thinking about the energy efficiency of buildings. So on a wide range of, uh, uh, of efforts, we have to think more sustainably. And in terms of the social sustainability in the city, we also have to think about achieving a much more mixed city um, because Copenhagen has become, as it's been more and more popular, uh, quite a gentrified city and a very expensive city. So today we have the mandate from both national government and city government to uh, demand 25% affordable housing, public housing, in all of the new projects. And this is a way of keeping the uh, city socially sustainable as well. And what are some of the climate challenges that Copenhagen is facing, like rising seawater, for example, and what are, what are the plans to make the city more resilient against those challenges? Well, Copenhagen is challenged by water from three accounts, both increasing rain, groundwater, which is rising, and then the ocean, which is also in the next 100 years going to be about uh, a meter and 20 higher than it is. Uh, and since we're a very flat country, uh, dealing with rainwater is crucial to the survival of the city. So we have 300 projects on the streets everywhere in the city to retain rainwater, to keep it and to use it for biodiversity, for trees, uh, green streets in the, in the city. 
Camilla has such an important job. Other cities should follow suit and have chief architects too, don't you think? All right, here goes nothing. I'm taking the fast track back down, a four-story spiral slide that's 40 meters long. Whew. Whew, that was fast. <laughs> Copenhagen is great at combining utility, sustainability, and fun. Every city needs a waste to energy plant, but this one is also a ski slope. And when it comes to parking garages, check this one out. They normally occupy so much space, but this one is also an outdoor gym and a neighborhood meeting place at the same time. Let's take a closer look. Whoa, now this is unexpected. <laughs> I've only ever seen boring, ugly parking garages before. Never one like this. I just find it so clever that the top of a parking garage has been transformed into a place like this where you can meet with your friends, work out, bring your kids. It's just so clever and resourceful. Also, when it comes to food, in Copenhagen, you'll find many sustainable and organic options in all price ranges. One of the most popular food spots is the Refn Street Food Market. This street food venue has an international vibe with many, many nationalities represented. Here, startups get a chance to try out their business ideas, and for the first three years, they don't have to pay rent for their stalls. The results have been pretty well received. Oh my gosh. Really good? That's nice. This one uh, is like uh, a very unique market. It's one of the best market in the whole Europe. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can be clear with this sentence. Okay. So we are divided by nationalities and united by the food. I'm Kurdish and I, I wanted to do something something Kurdish and bring the Slemani kebab here to Copenhagen. And uh, yeah, now we are here and it's amazing. Copenhagen is a lovely city and uh, very multi how you say in German, and uh, we love it here. Refin here is like a playground for creatives and awesome street food. And it's at a former industrial area, so there's just endless opportunities to make use of the space. And the vibes here are just so cool. Have you noticed? All permanent stalls here have been built out of old shipping containers. Reduce and reuse, that's Refn's mantra, which also means reusable tableware and waste reduction. Everything smells amazing here. So they are slightly coated in a little bit of, uh, of oil and mm -hmm. uh, smoked chili. Wow. And then uh, they just uh, caramelize in the barbecue. Some Sounds amazing. Nice and juicy and sweet mm -hmm. and a little spicy. Nice. I like All right. spicy. <laughs> All right. Let's try this out. Mm. Juicy, sweet, a little bit spicy. Perfect. <laughs> In Refn, I can clearly feel the green spirit of Copenhagen. Not only is it a place with environmentally friendly guidelines, it's also a place that unites people of all backgrounds and ages, as well as both residents and visitors. A positively inspiring place. Where in the world can you hang out, dine, and go swimming at a busy harbor, cycle freely through the whole city, exercise on top of a parking garage, and just see so many cool sustainable efforts. I hope you enjoyed my trip as much as I did. Copenhagen is truly a pioneer in urban sustainable development.